Hey guys, Coach Pillowfist here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So the straight right hand or the straight left hand, depending on your stance, it is also known as the cross. For this video, I'm gonna call it the straight right hand because I'm right-handed. So we've all heard it before. Pivot the rear foot and turn those hips when you're throwing that punch. So pivoting that foot is only the start of where your power comes from. Your whole body needs to work together as a team. And your punch is only going to be as strong as the weakest teammate on that team. Right? You might have a strong engine but a leaky exhaust or a misfiring cylinder. You're going to lose power. Now if you tune into my video the other week talking about putting power into that jab, using your shoulder, you'll know what I'm talking about. So for this video, we're going to be using our rear shoulder since we're dealing with the rear hand. All right, so we're pivoting that rear foot and then we're gonna turn those hips. Now with our shoulder, we're not just gonna turn those shoulders. We want snap in our punch, we want it loose. You want to whip that rear shoulder forward. That's why we want our elbow in, not out, because when you got your elbow out, you're kind of neutralizing the use of that shoulder. Whereas when you got your elbow in, you're able to throw your shoulder into that punch. All right, now this is an important thing to mention. When you're throwing that straight right hand or the straight left hand, you want to be in range. Because if you're not in range, you're going to be reaching, you're going to be leaning over just to hit your target. All right, because if I got my opponent all the way over there and I'm not able to reach him, then I'm going to be leaning over, which leaves me very open for counter punches. So always make sure that you're in range to throw that punch, all right? Whether you're gonna use the, the jab to come in, or you're just gonna use your feet to come in. Always make sure that you can hit the target without reaching or leaning into that punch. You're going to lose power, you're going to get countered. All right, so now that you know how to put power into that punch, let's talk about being defensively responsible. All right, so first thing, you want to be tucking your chin next to your shoulder when you throw that straight, all right? Just like that. All right, so I got my chin tucked into my shoulder and I got this rear hand up. Elbow in right here. Don't have your elbow coming out. You're gonna get countered to the body. All right, so lastly, it is commonly misconceived that this is just a long range punch and you should only throw it when your arm's length from the bag or the opponent. That's false. This punch can be thrown from short range, from long range. So don't make it exclusively just for outside fighting. With the use of that shoulder, even if even if I'm this close to the opponent, it's still going to be very powerful. Okay? Use that shoulder. You're going to have all the power that you need, even when you're up close in range. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning into that video. Hope that helps you guys out with your straight right hand, straight left hand, whatever your stance is. Keep practicing. Keep tuning into the videos. All right? Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.